Hey guys, this is Killrob speaking, and today we are back in Golftopia with our Lost Links playthrough. And um, after we've discovered that the dig bun dick bunker is hard, very hard even, and we have destroyed yet another weed hive and are just about to clean up the rest with our new drone hub, we also upgraded our clubhouse to now facilitate silver membership. And that will be coming up hopefully shortly. Um, this also will allow us to build out the golf course with three more holes. And that is going to be the main task for today. Uh, so remove this because we don't... Uh, we need to connect it in some smarter, different way. Uh, probably through here somehow along the side over there and then ugh, I don't know fuck um, and then build out this course because we need nine holes but first before we build those additional three holes I think it is time to grab some cash so that we can build all this shit nothing simpler than that just fast forward a little have these guys clean up the infestation some more and we should be all good Ah, yep, there we have our first server member, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Yeah, now we get the server memberships. So, uh, that was something that is not listed here when you are uh, when you're hovering over these, what the requirements are for actually becoming a server member. Uh, that, that would probably be a good thing to, to add. Like, uh, what level of your clubhouse you need. Although, it might even be and that this might be an interesting um, decision that... Oh, wait a second. Oh, fuck. I'm seeing so many people here. Is this the perfect opportunity for a happy beam? I believe so. Yes, we need to strike now. There we go. Okay. Um, interesting uh, quite design question is... Mabe, what the fuck are you doing there? Holy shit, that was a large miss. Um, yeah, uh, design question is if you would allow there to be silver members um, even on the basic level, if they are really enjoying your basic golf course, if you have really succeeded, why wouldn't they? I mean, whole completed count, yeah, okay, so these guys need three, that's fine, uh, but six is possible with the bronze rating already, so why not allow them to turn silver members already? If this actually has benefits. Does it have benefits? I still don't know. Because there's there's nothing that tells me if they are paying me more or anything. Uh, I would assume they do. Because that's the, the natural gut feel assumption, I would, I would guess. But uh, I don't know what that does. The tutorial was a little helpful in this regard. Um, in uh, talking about the memberships. Uh, they at least did say that they are paying more to play, and I assume that means these um, these little payouts that you get for each hole are higher for those. Um, but what is happening is that their uh, negative thoughts are amplified, and their positive ones stay the same. So they get a lot more picky, and that is of course a good good way to balance it. A good challenge. So you probably can't keep um, the like a very large set of super high-end golfers unless your your course is pretty much perfect but I fucking out this is <laughs> I know I keep harping on about this but if you're aiming there there then I would not expect basically all balls to end up either here here or there <laughs> it's just that's not a spread. I know I keep harping on about this, but yes, this is... Uh, in the golfer's eye, this is uh, heresy. Uh, also, why the fuck were you upset about this shot? Like, from here, right next to the hole. Oh, no, this one again. Okay. Yeah, that is bullshit. That needs to get removed. Um, this, this is one that actually pisses me off. Um, as in... Like, this is so counter to what reality would be that it just pisses me off <laughs> this is too far like this my suspension of disbelief isn't that hard that i can is not as hard as the dick bunker that that is how you can how you can say it very eloquently um but yes that really needs to be worked out 
fairway. And also, even in this game, like even this game knows about this because you can easily putt from the fairway. With success, I've hauled a putt from the fairway. <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, anyway, uh, let's continue on here. We have a decent amount of cash. This means I think we can now start to set up our little hub for hole number seven. First, I think I want to make this lake a little bit smaller so that we have a nice flat area here. Uh, flatten terrain, let's set it to this height and just nuke the water. Uh, there we go. That's still looking nice. So we can keep all that and then we need to flatten this out. It will be a nice uphill shot and stuff. Why are we? Yeah, yeah, this is too steep. But uh, let's spin it around as you can see. Yeah, that's a, that's a wall of worry right there. Uh, and this is looking quite spectacular, actually. If you have our T here, you shoot up the... <laughs> you can only... Yeah, you, you aim about 10 meters um, to the left of the, the, <laughs> the right uh, cliff face. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to go. And then we're looping around here, like we said, with the lowered green. But this... Uh, yeah, while we're at it, we can also... Oh, no. Let's first... Yeah, except this. Easy. Uh, 23 is not much. Also, we're getting gaining so much cash. This is getting in so fast now. Uh, we need to place down some... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Grass. Yes, we don't need those. We're going to place them out anyway. Uh, now, the hub stuff. Um, utilities? No. Public buildings. At this point, we need to check these guys. Mm, okay, so first, bladder, but not hunger. Um, fatigue always okay uh, the case so what we need to place is the bathroom or restroom um, that is a massive building that is fucking huge all right I need to <laughs> gain some more ground right and they were thirsty as well that's perfect let's put the drink machine before then <laughs> we uh, have them drink and then empty their bladder and then they can continue on also let's place another trash can here uh, that can go right in between yeah yeah I guess oh we want probably want it to be a long way on oh, nah, right right after this so that's fine place that there what more do we need uh, lights of course where's the other light it's hidden over there so that also needs to be in range Let's, let's put it down here. Yeah, okay. Pretty much perfect. Nice hub. And now it is time to build our next hall. We've already drawn it out very roughly. First the T, please, Killer Rob. Uh, we can start out from over here. And we are going to end up over there. And th this transport tube is not really looking nice for that, though. That is something that we need to fix. Oh, what we could do is, yes, go this way, but, oh, no, this would cross the course. I still don't know if they can hit these. I believe they can. Um, so placing it on top here, that would be <laughs> funny, like looping it around there and then uh, to here. That's That could work, um, but, nah, this will be in the way. All right, let's place this one down. Mm, this is supposed to be a... Oh, there we had something. This is 400 along that path. That's a very good length for par 4. Yeah, that's a difficult par 4 with the elevation changes. That's fine, though. We can make this work. So let's put it down there. That's hole number 7. And let's make this elevation stuff a bit more harsh, even. And then have... So they're hitting up a little cliff like that and then here there's the path so we need to smooth that out um, also this can be a bit flatter like that okay it's almost sloping down a bit more again this is such an it will be such an interesting hole um, okay so let's smooth this one there now that you can walk there without any issues I'm going to build a path up there and then connect it to the fairway. 61 bucks for these changes. That is nothing. I take that. And let's put down some grass. 
Just connecting these paths. I have this nice and clean. It's all tidy. Oh, one thing that we, of course, could do is to have this go around to here somewhere where the 8th uh, will be. So I have a short connector and then let that one come around to here. Um, also, we don't... Ah, now we do need this one for servicing. So we do need to have something here so that the drones can get to the bathroom real quick because there will be a lot of filth gathering up. All right, next step, paint some fairway. We need to have a slightly wider fairway than that. Uh, we can make it a banana shaped like this and then have some, some nice bunkers here and there. Of course, easy shot option, plenty of width there. And then for the more difficult shots, uh, ooh, yeah, this can still be a little wider. Like this, go around, go around. I'm going to change the elevation stuff later. Um, like this, and then from there you play a downhill shot into this one. And we do need some cut rough. Maybe even have, for those who landed here, an area that is slightly wider over here to land. To play it safe once again. Bunkers along this side. And cut rough along this side and pretty steep. So that the ball still has a chance to roll down. But I'm going to make this a little wider. Like this. Yeah. I think this will play nicely. So now just go for the cut rough, uh, not the fairway, not the green, no paths, please, no sand traps, and just put it, put it around here. All right, this certainly is getting there. This, of course, has lots of elevation work still left uh, on the menu for us because this would be pretty much impossible to play like this, or very challenging to say the least. Mm, bunker placement first, though. All right, fairway has been uh, done. Now, the problem is that we still need to do the green, but also before then, I think elevation is what is on the menu. That might be a little costly, so uh, let's let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um, the flatten tool will be the most important one first. Let's always take like the middle, middle-ish section and try to flatten it out a bit. Oh, yeah, that is... That is looking very steep. Holy shit. There's a lot of work left to do here. Okay, and that needs to come up. Okay, accept these changes. Yes, please. And that is looking a lot better. Look at that. Look at that. That's looking pretty spectacular. We still have um, some instances of, of a bit of curvature down there. The slopiness where the the ball rolls off into the rough. Well, that's to be expected, really. There's plenty of area, good area to land on. I think I want to smoothen this out around these edges a bit so that the uh, the ball hits the rough but then rolls onto the fairway. Gives them a good scare but uh, doesn't do anything else. Ooh, this is steep. <laughs> All right, smoothen it. Yeah, yeah, this is looking, looking a lot better like this. Yes. I don't want it to be super yellow or anything, but there we go. That is better. So the ball will most likely roll off into the fairway from there. But now the question is, how do they actually get down to the green? If we keep it red, like cliff face, then uh, that is, of course, somewhere where they can't go, which we can make use of. How about we make this... Oh, yeah, now now the green complex. I, I think we're pre... Uh, that is still sloping a bit too much, maybe? Let's check it out. But the green complex will be up next. Um, we do want to kind of flatten this. Brings this up a little. Yeah, and there can be a steep slope. That's fine. This is looking good. This is better. So it doesn't slope too much before. Uh, yeah, you can... Always aim a little closer to this, and then it, the ball will automatically roll down if you hit it. That's good. Um, here, kind of the same thing, but there's plenty of fairway for you to hit. Yeah, oh, it's looking good. And then here we can have the path down, so go down via here, and then have big green over there, so that you can be a little aggressive, 
and have the ball just roll down the cliff face onto the green if you wanted to. And I think just because we can... No, oh, that, that, this green is massive, by the way. <laughs> just because we can, we can make this a, a two-tier green as well. Doesn't have to be three tier, I guess, but uh, let's see. So, this is... Yeah, this is quite interesting as is. Slightly sloped still, that's good. Um, take this one, up it slightly to maybe 5.0, 5, 5, 4.8. Yeah, that's good. So two tiers. There we have that. And yeah, let's raise this slightly. And current size needs to come down. Yeah, this is looking good. So now we have our two tier green. This is the lower tier there. Can make this a little sharper even. Like this, yes. Nice. Okay. Except, what does it look like? Hmm. There's a lot of land there. Not really planning for that. Uh, we could put in a bunker here. Like, uh, reclaim a bit more land and put in a bunker here so that this... Uh, the few stray shots are not caught by the water but rather by, uh, by a larger bunker. First off, of course, just put in some cut rough everywhere we can, just to see where it's paintable and land. Oh, uh, this one needs to be removed. There's some... My green marker is still there. Uh, yes, paint over the green now, please. And down in size, perfect. Here we go. So the path needs to go around there. I still haven't smoothened that out. It still looks a little horrendous. Let's do that. All right. Just uh, making the the edge of the water a little bit more interesting as well. Uh, it's starting to look quite nice. Like this. Let's accept that. Another 35 bucks. Oh, no. Look at that. Okay. This is looking a little awkward because the, the light lines are touching. So maybe I want to make this slightly larger. And just putting a nice grassy edge around it. And uh, I'll deactivate the sand trap and have that go there. Yeah, this is looking fantastic. Now I need to fix up the path because that should not touch the green. That is very weird. Um, let's remove that. And I think we're done. I really think we're done. What we can do here is place a few trees. This area needs to be cleaned up. Uh, that is looking ugly with weird weird different grass types uh, so let's make it all rough uh, just cut rough that should be fine and now I think what we are placing down is a few trees uh, wow okay these are massive let's see uh, this is even terrain where they can't ooh. no way we can't place this they can still walk there I believe let's just check it because yeah that would be uh, really bad if they couldn't walk there Oh, another thing I would like to do is to have a step in the fairway. Uh, if this area is a little higher, then that will be an, an interesting addition. So let's make it a little higher. Put it up to 8. The bunkers can be depressed just to make the shots a little bit more awkward. Even more awkward. All right, look at that. Yes, now we have a little step in here. Right where the ball would land, uh, let's smooth that out. Just so that it doesn't jump in unexpected directions. Oh, we still need a path here to the fairway. Also, I need to smooth this on out. Uh, this edge here is not looking nice. But we're almost done with another beautiful hole, except these changes. Oh, one thing I forgot in here is, of course, the bench. Uh, easy and reasonably cheap. Oh, let's put that one down. Where do we want it? Over here somewhere. Had to make room, uh, make room for it as well. And uh, that now it fits. Well, we can have that in here, tucked away. Nah, let's have it there. Yes. Okay. Is that actually? That is in the wrong direction, isn't it? Fuck. But ah, uh, we get all of it back. That's nice. Um. So that was wrong rotation, Kill Rob. There we have it. That's looking better. 
What I would like to do is place a line of trees around here, but of course this is in the way. So I think it's now time to figure out how we deal with the transportation, with the logistics of hole number seven and eight. Uh, okay, let me let me have a ponder. At the moment it's actually not all that terrible because it's not directly in the path of the shots, but it's not great, is it? Maybe we can just leave it like this for now and see how it plays first. And then we go ahead and uh, change it if need be. Because that it is the most efficient route. It is super quick. Just one connector and such. Um, into a big servicing hub. So how about we um, activate this with uh, not we spent three thousand two thousand five hundred bucks on this or something? Um, let's test it. So here we go. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Into bunker and everywhere. Oh, we, oh, they are hitting the rocks and oh, oh, it's falling down. They're falling down. Oh, oh this is pretty cool. And how well did it play? Um, four point. Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hmm. Let's try again. Ooh, oh, oh, that. When they. <laughs> Holy shit! They're so bad. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is look. There some some players in there are really good. I don't see any shots into the water, which is great. They're four point three. Yeah, okay. This seems to be a reasonably challenging hole. Um, difficulty balanced. Right, challenge medium. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it isn't really over overly difficult because of. Any misses towards the inside of the dog leg are all landing up in the fairway. So even if you miss it, it's it's fine. But this kind of approach shot, holy shit, that would be so much fun to play <laughs> in real life. I only design holes which I would like to play in real life. Um, uh, apart from the dick bunker one. <laughs> it's very hard. Uh, so, yeah, I think this one is more or less done, though. We can add the trees. They will add to the decoration of both Hall 4 and Hall 7. And we have not seen many people go there, have we? Oh, there's some... Oh, there they hit the transport tube. Okay, so that actually helped them. Uh, I don't know if they get a negative fault for it. Uh, another thing that we are missing is light. We do have light here, but that is not enough for the green, of course. And this is a little dark, but I think for one shot they might be able to be in the dark. Otherwise we can put a lamp on, on top of this one. Uh, very hard to service, mind you, but... <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wow. Everyone is buying drinks. This is a little odd, I think. Uh, so these are selling for one dollar each. And in other games, they usually use... Oh, in other, other games. In SimGolf, <laughs> not that many other games. Uh, we, let's not... Let's say that the... What was it called? Resort Boss Golf. Uh, that game never existed. Uh, it's, it's not that... It's not a golf game, really. Um, but in SimGolf, you actually earn money on these. As well as they cost you things. Now... As an interesting thing to only have them really like paying one, you can equally say they are paying nothing, because paying one is basically nothing. Uh, so you get nothing, but you're paying for servicing. Okay, that's that's buy that's valid. Let's say you are paying your green fees, and for that you get um, drinks and food for free. I think that would make sense. But paying one. That doesn't make any sense, <laughs> because that pretends it is um, there for some kinds of balancing reasons. Oh, this is not good. It needs to be serviced when a full group can no longer take out a drink. So 40. Why isn't that the default, by the way? Huh. Interesting. Um, anyway, oh, they were quick. Quick to resupply. 
Now I think I've lost my train of thought. But anyway, let's open this hole. A golf checkpoint. Do we need this? Till exit. Oh, okay. This is just for the golf ball and not for uh, for golfers. So I thought we could teleport them down the cliff. But no, no, I can't. Let's open all. This will be fantastic. Who's our first victim? Elizabeth. Ah, you're a silver member, aren't you? Yes. You're getting to play the f this hole for the first time. Okay. How did this hole do? Not not great. Not great. Increasing. The bunker, I think too many people are landing in it, and that's a negative thought. Um, I think this bunker there is scaring them enough. We can just have rough there again. So do you have to go to the loo? Bladder, bladder, yes. Garbage. Please empty your garbage. It's all the filth in there. It's already f fucking full. 70, yeah. So this one increases in 10% steps. But uh, servicing is done in 1% steps. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense then. Um, so here we go. Oh, 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 hit the tube into the bunker. Well, did you get a negative fault for that? Uh, no, just the sand trap one. Yeah, this is something that needs to be fixed. There are several workers at the same time can have the same target to, to service something. Uh, they need to check that when they're looking for tasks. Because this is the future, supposedly. I would assume they are connected and they have some AI that tells them that... Uh, yeah, mate, this is already being taken care of, so don't go there as well. That is a waste of time. Oh, shit. That was a negative thought. In the drink. Oh, that... Mm. Yeah, if you hit exactly this ledge, and then the ball hits the green and then draw rolls off, yeah, that's not great. You need to be a bit more aggressive. Oh, I think this hole is revealing one of the um, physics weaknesses of the game. Because... If you... Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. So, um, this shot from here to here, this is flat, right? That should not take a massive hop like this. Not at all. That is way too much, uh, too much bounce. And not a non-physical bounce, too, because the, the angle of attack that is coming down, the ball is coming down at, would make it such that it loses most of its, um forward momentum as well when uh, it it punches into the ground there oh ooh, look at that yeah that's uh, uh that was not too bad oh, the, oh you stop stop ball stop ball oh victoria in the sand trap yeah you should be no wait a sec ball is in a bad spot is that there yeah, yeah it's in a pretty bad spot Ah, uh, and this is nice. Of course, they can just walk off. Walk off the green. Rest enough a little bit. <laughs> and then... Where do they go? They're done. Into the tube. Yeah, okay. This works. This just works. This is good. It's not the prettiest of um, solutions. And especially not with the tube right across. That's not great. But I think this is fine for now. All right, we have uh, finally fully killed an inf infestation. Oh no, oh, fu oh fuck, no, we have not. Oh no, it's spreading down there now. Yeah, okay, the drones need to move out. They need to be vigilant before I forget until next time. Let me, let me place that down here. Ugh, okay, more work. Uh, anyway, I think that has been a really good whole design for this one it's a nice dog leg has several playful has a lot of playfulness with the different uh, elevation changes in it and the only thing missing is a few trees along here um, and that is something that we are going to do in the coming episode as well as hole number eight whatever form that may take i think that was a par five wasn't it yeah anyway hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.